Welcome to the 3-Minute Guide to Omnitone Defense System Heroic. This fight requires you to tackle 4 different bosses with a shared health pool where generally 2 of them are up at a time. In Heroic, Nefarian will be a nuisance and empower certain abilities that will require the raid to be coordinated. Let's go over how each of the bosses work and then how to properly play the fight to maximize your chances of success. Arcanotron have two abilities that you have to deal with. The first is Power Generator, which he casts on a 15 second cooldown. It works actually like Rune of Power in Old War, where if the boss is inside of it, he will do 50% more damage, but any player standing in it will receive the same buff. Healers will also receive mana from standing in them. Nefarian will sometimes overcharge the rune, making it expand before exploding. Move the boss out of the rune, but keep it close enough so Melek can utilize the rune. You can still milk it while it's being overcharged. He casts Arcane Annihilator, which has to be interrupted or it'll often one-shot people. Have a Shaman on interrupt duty, but if you don't have one, then you need an interrupt rotation. Mimatron will cast Incineration on a 28 second cooldown that deals heavy AoE damage. Use raid cooldowns like Tranquility and Aura Mastery here. He'll target one specific raid member with Flamethrower, roasting him and anyone in his path. It's a jump of the person targeted to move out of the raid, but sometimes Nefarian will empower the ability, rooting whoever gets targeted. Then, it's the responsibility of the raid to move away. Electron will periodically cast Electrical Discharge, bouncing to nearby targets, and his second ability, Lightning Conductor, just pulsing AoE damage around whoever is targeted. And thus, staying spread in this phase is a very good idea. However, when a Farian empowers the Lightning Conductor, the ability has the opposite effect and you will take more damage the further away you are. As such, you should stack up whenever it's cast and whoever is not tanking Electron should move closer or pop a strong defensive cooldown. Lastly, we have Toxitron who spawns adds in front of him. The placement of the add spawn point can be controlled by the tank, so generally spawn them away from the raid, but if you're feeling a little bit cheeky, you can rotate the boss bit by bit to stack them up as much as possible. Hunters should always have a frost trap down, and they should be 100% focused by ranged players. The adds will focus on a specific player, if they reach a target, they will blow up and deal massive damage to whoever hit. The second ability is Chemical Bomb. This is like Power Generator, but in reverse. Any target inside of the Poison Cloud will take 50% increased damage, and as such, you should aim to have the current target in the cloud whenever it's up. Nefarian will at times AoE grip everyone into the cloud, then just simply move out. As you begin the fight, you will have one out of the four bosses active. Bosses are active for one minute before deactivating. After 30 seconds, the second boss will spawn. 10 seconds later, the boss that is about to be deactivated will cast a shield on themselves. This shield lasts for 10 seconds and can be broken with damage. If it is broken, it will be a disaster for the raid and will likely cause a wipe. After the shield is down, feel free to stack the bosses again for some cleave before it deactivates and the next one spawns. Depending on timing, there will be brief overlaps where three bosses are active for a short amount of time. Whoever is tanking two bosses at once should pop a strong defensive cooldown. Utilize pools to do more damage and be on point with interrupting while killing and slowing the adds, and this will be absolute cakewalk for any guild. This is very much a control fight, so even if 30% of the raid dies, that doesn't mean it's a wipe. And that's how we kill Omnitron Defense System on Heroic. The Magma Guide is already up, but subscribe for future guides. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.